the American market is waking up to Portuguese wines, and I, I think it's, you know, one, it's long past time that should have happened. Two, I think there's enormous potential. And, and the reasons are several. The white wines of Portugal, even though they're relatively new in the style to the Portuguese, you know, much less to the rest of the world, they're crisp and clean and refreshing. And these are wines that we really, really want. So Portuguese wines, I think, are, are uh, particularly the red wines, will find an easy market in the U.S. because there's a certain amount of uh, voluptuousness to, to some of these reds allied with this, this crispness, this refreshing character. I believe that uh, five years ago, certainly 10 years ago, most of us viewed the diversity and the lack of familiarity with grape uh, varieties out of Portugal, historic grape varieties, as a problem. And I don't think it's true anymore. And I really do believe it's because the younger generation has no fear of wine. What has happened is that a younger generation has taken over the buying, and that younger generation is eager to find new things. They're very, very interested in the new and the novel. And while Portugal has this fantastic history, for us, this is new. For us, this is novel. The selection of wines that I had to, to, to work from has been an almost uniformly very good selection. So because the group of wines I was choosing from were winnowed down a little bit to begin with, some of the low lows aren't there, some of the lesser wines are not there. So you're choosing a lot of wines and it's a sort of compact quality assessment that one is making. And so you're choosing by tiny gradations, which means you have to be very careful. You have to be very focused and very careful. And, uh, and so that's, that, that can be difficult. But um, with all of the wines I'm choosing, I'm, I'm tasting them multiple times, and I'm tasting them multiple times in blind settings. So I have no idea what the wine is, and that's the way it should be. I started coming here in 1985 and fell in love. There's just no other word for it. I fell in love with what was happening here. And so I accepted the, the role because I felt like I could assist, because I had some history, because I, I had a, a, what I hope is a bigger picture of how things came to be, both in Portugal and for Portuguese wines in America. I'm trying to represent to, to my fellow Americans what I think is important and what I think should be pursued. I hoped to make a selection that represented well what Portugal is doing that we in America will immediately adopt if we only take the time to taste it.